What do you get when you cross a beach tech with an Alexa Mini? I, do, I, I, do I have to know the answer to this? Don't estimate alone. Don't stand out in the cold all by yourself. Try to put together an estimate. Go to thuslandlands.com slash estimating. I've got a digital download that will teach you everything you need to know. You don't have to be alone any longer. Hi, this is JP Morgan. And I'm Lars Lindstrom. And today we're out here in Bombay, California. Yeah, pull up your Google Maps. Yes, not Bombay, India. Yeah. Bombay, California. California. Don't get confused. Yep. Yeah, we're at a great in. little establishment here yeah. called the Ski Inn. Ski, not Sky Inn, Ski Inn. Covered with $1 bills. Well, actually, bills from all over the world. Yeah. Fabulous little place. And awesome. Wendell and Jane have invited us to come. Let's do an interview with them. But what we really want to do is test the new Beach Tech. It's a device that will let you lay the sound back to the Alexa Mini. Specifically designed for the Alexa Mini, right? So we've all seen Beach Tech uh, preamps that maybe sit on the bottom of a DSLR or maybe in conjunction with some of these other cameras. But this one was really designed specifically, even the carbon fiber it looks, casing. It belongs on the side right, of that Right, so you've Alexa. got your Alexa Mini, which is carbon fiber to keep that four and a half pound camera right. And then this Beach Tech audio, the casing is also carbon fiber, that same consistency as the Alexa Mini. So it looks really cool side by side. The reason you would use this kind of a device is because it really turns the Alexa Mini into a run and gun one camera operator setup. Right. I mean it's really difficult. I mean otherwise you have two different setups here. Uh, it's not a camera we usually think of as a run and gun camera. But right. So, so Ari came out with the Amira a few years ago and that was kind of their answer to a run and gun single operator uh, camera. But you've got a lot of Alexa Mini owners that are, you know, that own these cameras. They love how light they can be. You can put them in a little suitcase and travel with them. But there's not decent audio, uh, and so that's what this this does. This provides. I mean, you've got built-in phantom power, uh, single XLR five pin to five pin limo connector for the Alexa Mini. Um, you got two XLR cables, so you can run in two uh, lobs or two whatever, boom and a lob. Yep. yep. Uh, you've got your headphone uh, preamp on on the Beach Tech. Yeah, single operator. Throw some cans on. And you've got your volume control, and you're good to go. Let's talk about the light. How do we light this thing? Okay. Well, we had we had a window over on this side that was giving us a nice little kickback, a little three-quarter uh, edge light. And then we wanted to keep things pretty simple, uh, so we have a Roscoe 210 LED light as our key light. We're not pushing it through any diffusion. We're we're kind of letting our our light bounce off the ceiling a little bit, creating some of this fill on, on the shadow side. And uh, yeah, the, the window lights lighting our background here with some of our, it looks like we've got some either LED or incandescent lights in the bar. It's just fun, just a really fun, warm look back there. Worked out really well for this little interview, so. I'm Jane Southworth, my husband Wendell Southworth. And we own and operate the ski in. We've been here now for, well, since 1990 permanently. We did in a trucking business, we sold it and retired. We already had a place paid for out here, so we moved out here. Bought this place in 1994, and here we are. It's still here. So with this camera, it's just amazing the dynamic range because we're looking at the window, we're seeing in the dark shadows on the wall. It's it pretty amazing. Holds it all, and we're even shooting. We, you know, because we're running and gunning a little bit, we didn't want to shoot log C and have to spend a lot of time color grading. So we're actually shooting with the Rec 709 LUT baked into the image, and that's. That's even, I mean, we're retaining information on, on both sides of the latitude uh, with a baked in LUT. So that's pretty impressive. We're, we're pretty happy with the look. Now we sound like uh, we're Alexa fanboys. But. Oh, yeah. Well, we are. I am. <laughs> are you not an Alexa <laughs> fanboy? Yes, I am. It's an amazing <laughs> camera, no doubt about it. Hi, this is JP Morgan from the future. Yesterday, when we were out shooting, we did not have time to do a test of the H6 compared to the Beach Tech going into that Alexa Mini. So we're going to do that now. Yesterday, we were at Bombay Beach. At Bombay Beach, we had a great opportunity to interview Wendell and Jane, who are running the Ski Inn, a little restaurant out there that we had hamburgers below sea level at. So we had a great experience there. We did our interview there. They had some interesting things to say about the sea and the fact that it's drying up and it's affecting the economy and the people. It was just a very fun interview and a great place to work and to be able to listen to them and their story and their experience as they come to the end of an era as they're trying to sell the restaurant and they don't know what they're gonna do. 
So I'm glad we did that little test because that Beach Tech has great audio and it sounds exactly the same as the uh, Zoom. It was extremely simple to set up. We just have two cables you plug in, you're ready to go. So it has a great little bracket that comes with it that allows you to mount it to the side in several different configurations. You can monitor the audio through the uh, Alexa and see those levels on the Alexa. You have to be able to change the audio levels on the Beach Tech. You can toggle between stereo and mono. It also has phantom power to be able to use through the Beach Tech. So now back to past Lars and JP, who will wrap up their interview where they didn't have time to talk about specs. Yeah, make sure you check out our affiliate links. Um, if you're purchasing your Beach Tech, it, if you're purchasing your Alexa Mini, do it through Amazon or uh, B&H through our site. Please do it through B&H. Please. Through our affiliate link site, please. Please. That would, that would probably fund... Uh, make our month. Make our month, yeah. Yes, it would. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the Beach Tech makes a great uh, companion to that camera and a way to be able to bring that audio in to either work on your own or to just monitor and give you a scratch track. So, fabulous piece of equipment. So, check it out. Keep those cameras rolling. Keep on clicking. You know, after working in this business for 25 plus years, I really understand the things that photographers and videographers face. I know the industry. I know what you need to overcome the problems that you face. Sit down with me in a mentoring session. And I'll help you overcome the problems that you're facing. Sometimes you just hit a wall and you need some help. I can definitely do that for you. So go to thuslandandlens.com, click on the mentoring button, and set up a time when we can Skype together and I can help you solve your problems. So it's important to subscribe to the Slant Lens because Jane and Wendell subscribe to the Slant Lens. Do you guys subscribe to the Slant Lens, Jane? Yeah, yep. Okay. <laughs> what, was it Wacko? Wacko subscribed. Get a shot of Wacko there, because he subscribes to the Slant Lens, and that's the guy you need to follow, because he subscribes to the Slant Lens. Man. Wacko, I'm holding you to this now.